Hello, my name is Mark and I'm here today with Practical Machinist to discuss spindle speeds. So when we're programming our CNC machine, we need to give it a spindle speed designated with an S value. So we need to look at how we're gonna calculate that spindle speed. And here's the equation. So here we have um, our spindle speed N, which is calculated in revs per minute. So the N value would be equal to RPM. And we're saying that N equals V times a thousand over pi D. Now, this is the metric version. We'll look at the imperial version in a second. So with the metric version here, uh, V is our cutting speed. So we would get this information from charts or graphs, and we're looking to that in a minute as well. A thousand would convert it into metric. Our pi would be 3.14159267. I'm joking, it's 3.14. We normally round down to two decimal places when working spindle speeds, because we don't need decimal places in our spindle speed rotation. And finally, D is our tall diameter. Now the equation might not always look this way. For example, when I was an apprentice, we learned 1000 S over pi D, but it means the same. We just used S for the cutting speed and not V. So that's the metric version. So the imperial equation is very similar. It's N equals V times 12 over pi times D. And when two characters are written next to each other on the bottom here, like pi and D, we assume they're being multiplied. So the imperial equation is almost identical, which is times in V by 12 and not by a thousand. So here's the key. So this is where we know what all these letters represent. So V is our cutting speed, D is our tall diameter, and N, our answer, is our spindle speed and revolutions per minute. So let's talk a little bit about this V, cutting speed. Where do we get this information from? Well, for that, it's best to speak to the person that supplies our tools, our tool rep, or to contact the company that our tools are provided by. For example, most tool companies do have this information on their website, but you would normally find it on the packets that the tool came in. So here's an example of some cutting speeds. On the back of our tool packet, we may see some information similar to this, and certainly don't go by this information. This is just rough figures that are pulled off the internet and is by no means correct for your cutter that you're working out these cutting speeds for. So to get accurate cutting speeds, it's best to talk to our tool rep, tell him the exact grade of stainless steel we are cutting and which one of his tips that we are using, and he would give us a more accurate range. So let's do a quick calculation. Let's just do a quick one so we know where we're coming from and let's work in Imperial. So if we take our top line again, stainless steel, and we look at our Imperial side, our surface feet per minute, I'm gonna use a median size of 50 surface feet per minute for our calculation. So V would equal 50 and that's where I'm getting this number from. Okay, so let's do a very quick equation here to show how this works. So we're trying to find N here, our revolutions Per minute of our spindle and we're gonna say that is equal to V times 12 now from the charts we just looked at we know we're taking our cutting speed as 50 because we're machining stainless steel with our milling cutter so we're gonna take V as 50 and we're gonna times that by 12 and that's the top part of our equation taken care of now the bottom part we would divide that by pi D so we're taking pi is 3.14 and that would be times by the diameter of our tool. So in this distance, let's say our tool is half an inch. So we would put 0.5, because we're working in Imperial, so it would be half an inch designated like that. So there's our equation. Now we just need to do the equation to come up to our answer and find out what the recommended spindle speed would be with a cutting speed of 50 surface feet per minute and a tall diameter of half inch. So let's write out our equation with this extra bit of maths now done. So n the value we are looking for, 50 times 12 would be 600. And the bottom would be 3.14 times 0.5, which would give us 1.57. So N would equal 600 divided by 1.57. So that would equal 
point 0.1. Now, of course, point 0.1 doesn't matter. When we're talking about spindle speeds, we can uh, ignore that part and just round it up to the nearest value. So we've come to a recommended spindle speed of 382 revolutions per minute when we're using a cutting speed of 50 on a half inch milling cutter. And this is high speed still. So that's how we arrive at our spindle speed calculations. Now, of course, I would take this number as only a rough guide and experiment within that range to give us a surface finish that we require. So this information is a very small part of a course I have called Machine Shops Maths, Speeds and Feeds, and it's only for a few dollars. And you can find that over on my website, gcodetutor.com. So that's it for this time. See you again soon.